All right, guys, so we got the 07 on the dyno. We are going to be testing the 467.7 FMW. This is a 467.7 uh, compressor wheel, 83 turbine, and a 0.90 T4 divided housing. This is a genuine Borg turbocharger. We have our built 48 in here, and I get this question all the time. This is a set of dynamite diesel, 100% overs, a dynamite diesel, 12 millimeter CP3. We have our factory air horn, air dog 165, and then just a homemade kit with a steed speed manifold. Uh, so let's see what kind of power it makes. Meyer, you wanna take a guess? Not the All right, so Meyer says, Meyer says seven to 750. I'm gonna go 725. Oh, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go 725. Um, currently, the intercooler still does have that leak, but I promise you guys, this truck is making a lot more power than it was with the HE351, 6367. James has got that tune-up dialed in. We're gonna go ahead. We don't need to do the parasitic load test. We don't need to do any calibrations. We're just gonna go right into power. I think I'm gonna start the run at 2200, probably run into 4000. Um, something that has developed over the past couple of weeks of driving it is we have quite a bit of blow by, kind of hard to see, but they see how the fins are machined and then some are black. We do have some blow by happening. And yeah, it snowed today, daily driver, got to Got to get it, so we'll get the dyno fired up, get this thing on the roller, see what she makes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the dyno set up. Currently, we are dyno in the shop truck, so we'll go ahead, get this set up real quick. Again, 2200 RPM. We're going to let it rip, tater chip. Meyer decided to change his guess off camera. He's going 700. Well, he's splitting mine. I'm going 725. We shall see when the cards settle. I'm also gonna try and get you guys a little footage inside the cab so you guys can see the gauges and kind of see what EGT and boost look like during a pull. Look at the did that mess up the high power number? Yeah, it, it uh that's where your peak is. Without the without the spin, it did about 690. But that was before it peaked. Well it was weird all of a sudden it went. Whoop. guys so um, looking at this graph here it is a little deceiving um, it did 790 I felt the truck spin you guys might even see it in that other clip uh, so we're gonna go ahead and strap it down a little harder now that the tires are dry it should help that was a tune 3 pull if you disregard the slip on the uh, rollers it did 690 horsepower I really thought it was gonna do a little less so I am pretty pumped it did 690 we might see a 750, 780 number on this. Uh, and you guys can kind of hear it in the video when it laid over. I'll try to pull up this graph for you guys. I do struggle with this. So you guys see here this little blip, that's when it spun and rehooked again. Um, and that is our peak power. 
but basically you guys could see we laid into it pretty hard 2200 and it kind of jumped up there but you guys could see about 690 680 1450 foot pounds of torque um and i kind of let out of it just because it was weird and it slipped so we're gonna go ahead uh again guys i pay for this dyno time through my company i don't do it for free so i'm trying to limit the amount of stress and wear and tear i put on our company dyno so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do another two and three pull make sure it will hold the tires and not slip this time uh meyer tightened up the straps for us and then we'll do one rip on tune five to kind of see what james got us max effort and we're gonna talk about it after that guys so both Meyer and myself were wrong we got 770 horsepower and let's break it down for you guys we hit peak torque right around 2400 foot pounds with this turbocharger at 1608 foot pounds and then we did a max horsepower of 770 at 2600 rpm um, I do think the 90 turbine housing definitely is helping with peak torque this charger drives amazing even at elevation. Like I'm actually really thrilled with how it drives. I think you could still tow if you have your head on your shoulders. I think you'd still tow really well with this. This certainly could be daily driven, like nobody's business. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead, put it on tune five. Again, that was tune three. I think that's like 2,000 US. We're gonna turn it up a little bit, see if we can get that 800, 815 number. I know 467 7s don't live forever at this power level. I looked at the log, we're doing 45 pounds of boost. If I see this thing go above like 55, I'm gonna just let out because I don't wanna blow this up. I do need this turbo for compounds. So let's see what she does on tune five. gonna wrap it off on the dyno testing uh, the way James laid out the tune profile to kind of facilitate uh, the channel was he gave me different US durations for uh, different turbochargers s 400s on five nines kind of all light very similar when they're in nine housings um, so tune four and tune five were a little lower on power I think it was just purely flooding the turbo it was down on boost a little bit as well so I just think we were overfueling it Tune 3 did the best at 770 horsepower. Um, I think, again, I, I'm kind of bummed we still have this hole in the intercooler. Our new intercooler will be here in a couple days. Um, but we got to work with the cards we're given. Um, and I really want to get on to the compound side of things so we can really test the limits of the stock bottom end. Uh, all in all, this 467.7, if you want to tow with a S400 and still have a lot of fun. This thing is really rowdy at high RPM. As you guys saw in some previous videos, it it gets it. Um, so again, light towing, daily driving, even at high elevation, this charger works great, especially with that high stall converter. Um, 
We could move the power band around a little bit with different turbine housings, but I was very happy with the usable power. Again, we're at 6,000 feet, so things don't really like to spool up here for us. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing off the dyno. Uh, all in all, super proud with how it turned out. Uh, I think this turbocharger served its purpose. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next turbo, uh, which will be another big S400. You guys go ahead and comment what you think it'll be. Make sure you like this video, give it a comment, give it a uh, subscribe if you have not already. We're gonna keep going on this. Remember, it's the quest for a thousand horsepower on this stock bottom N59. And from there, we'll just see how the wind blows us. Uh, this 467.7 certified ripper till the next one.